Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are gonna be eating at the newest restaurant that just opened up, Summer House on the Lake. And I am so excited. This is a brand new restaurant in Disney Springs. And uh, we're also gonna continue our 12 days to Christmas countdown. And we are at 10 days, 10 days till Christmas. So I figured we'd come on down, eat some food, do some shopping and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I made my way down to Disney Springs and I had to park in the strawberry lot. I haven't parked here in so long. This is the surface parking. And look, they have all the minivans here. And uh, right there is the House of Blues. So we're behind Disney Springs and I can't wait to check out the new restaurant. This should be my third video in a row. I'm posting every single day now until Christmas and we're doing uh, 12 days till Christmas. And like I said, only 10 more days. And the best part is I'm gonna be taking this uh, kind of 12 days of Christmas Vlogmas on the road when I uh, go to Pennsylvania and uh, see my family for the first time in 10 years for Christmas. And I'm so excited. The reason I parked in the surface parking is because the new restaurant is actually right across from AMC. It's right here. And I'm excited to actually go in and check it out for the first time. I can say from the outside alone, I think this place is gonna be such an awesome place to come and hang out. They got outdoor seating with little heater, heaters on the patio. And look at the furniture. Oh, that looks cozy, doesn't it? I like that. And then they have indoors. This is the cookie stop. Maybe we'll get some cookies afterwards. Uh, and uh, this is the restaurant itself. I think we're sitting inside in the sunroom. I'm sure a couple of you have noticed that I am wearing a particular hat in this video and I cannot wait to tell you guys a little bit more about it. It's uh, gonna be a fun little surprise I got planned uh, for the next week. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram for more, but uh, I'm excited. I said I had something really fun and planned or big that I was really pumped to show you guys. The restaurant itself is beautiful on the inside. And I think the best thing is on the outside, they have a great view of the lake. Let me show you outside here. Wow. It's a little bit windy out today, so that's why I didn't sit outside, but this would be beautiful on a nice summer day. But right now it's December and it's a little bit cold out but I'd be out here for hours. And can you imagine brunch? Cause they do do brunch here. Here is a look at the menu and it's really nice. They have summer comfort food. They've got everything from pasta, pizza, tacos, sandwiches to grouper even. And I'm looking at the starters and I was thinking about getting uh, the uh, prime beef meatballs and the signature guacamole. That looks good. And then also down here, I have to try the pizza. So I think we'll get a cheese pizza and uh, I hear they have uh, picnic fried chicken basket or their uh, famous herb chicken breast $21.95 the prices don't look too bad so I think we're gonna get a lot of food my friends Travis and promise are here with and me pizza. and pizza we already pizza. we already ordered our apps we got pizza meatballs and guacamole yes. that sounds awesome we're gonna have the most food because everything sounded too good uh, you gotta get the home alone. a lovely cheese pizza just uh, a lovely, I know the pizza actually looks really good. Look, it's thinny thin. I've heard nothing but good things about this guacamole. The only guacamole to me that is like superior than any other guacamole is La Cava's guacamole. So I'm excited. I also like to make little sandwiches. Little tiny guacamole and chip sandwiches. I am so excited to dive into the meatballs though. We got three of them. Everybody got a meatball? I got a meatball, but they're huge. Wait. So I know. Grab it? All right. It might be cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Everyone get their meatballs. Thank you. meatballs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Every time I go to like a, a new Italian restaurant that I've never been to, I always order a chicken parm, a pizza, and a meatball. And I feel like uh, you can judge a restaurant a lot by just those items. Cheers. Yo, that that's a spicy meatball. Like, this 
is what that phrase. This is what that phrase came. Yep. From. This one. This. That is a. I ate it all, though. I ate it all. You know what? That was amazing. All right, the chips and guac were great. Not on the same level as La Cava, but I would put it like really really close but now I want to try the thinny thin pizza and look at that it actually looks so good so here we go and not too much flop just a little bit just a little bit I went with the steak fritz and they have like a lime garlic butter fries but by the way this uh, steak is looking I might switch with Travis uh, I mean I like the chicken. You got the chicken. I mean, we should do halvesies. You want to do halvesies? Yeah, let's do halvesies. Let's do halvesies or threesies. Threesies. And it's a Christmas miracle. Oh yeah, we got the jalapeno cornbread. They were out and then they magically. Yeah, they brought it. I know. I'm so excited. I really wanted to try that. And then that's the chicken itself right here, yes, right? I love it with the arugula oh. side salad. Yes. And then we got the rigatoni over here, and then the uh, the uh, chicken basket hand breaded chicken tenders. Honestly, the chicken tenders are looking amazing. The restaurant also has a cookie bar out front, and I'm excited because I don't know if we can uh, also get some of the same things from the cookie bar in the restaurant. I uh, hear they have some good desserts, so we're gonna get the desserts. Ooh, and it's starting to get windy. I'm not sure if you guys heard or not, but we have some very bad uh, weather coming into Florida this weekend, which is also my birthday weekend, so hopefully it just passes by. And it's also my weekend to head up north, but I'm afraid of the weather up there, actually, more than the weather down here. Yo, that steak is so good. It's great. I love it. The french fries are great. I'm glad I'm sharing it with you, but <laughs> these chicken tenders might be some of the best chicken tenders I ever had. Yes, go ahead. Each grab a chicken tender. Go ahead. Hey, it's so good. You like chicken tendies? You also just said the best. And now you're saying maybe the best. They are the best. I Honestly, they're way better than Raising Cane's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And it's just like a brand new... We just had a Raising Cane's open up here. And I mean, I thought it was okay, but these are, have something special about them. Yeah. Just like that meatball. Very special. What was your favorite? How do you decide is the real question. I know, <laughs> everything was so good. For me, the cornbread was it? nailed so hard, but it completely lived up to every expectation that I thought would yeah. ever be. Um, and then your your chicken tenders. <laughs> Did you try one? I knew it. I stole one while you were It's so good, right? <laughs> So good. They're like, I don't know what, it's something different. I wish that the herb chicken was breaded. Like, like that. Chicken it was amazing. <laughs> Those chicken tenders were so good. Yeah, and really good. I love the steak too. The steak was good. That chicken was good. Overall, everything was great, but I do have a couple favorites. <laughs> Dinner was great, and some of the things that I really loved about the restaurant was definitely the ambience, the inside, the views, uh, the chicken tenders stole the show for me, along with the uh, 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 spicy meatballs and the guacamole. The meatballs were good because they were spicy and unique. The guacamole just had something special about the same thing with the tenders. You know, sometimes you're just like, uh-uh, something's different. And I felt it with those, I felt it. Uh, but now I want to get some cookies at the cookie bar. The cookie bar, look at that. This is right on the other side of the check-in area. This whole restaurant is so beautiful. Wow, they have so many cookies. They have ginger snap, fudge bombs, chocolate walnut. Wow, M&M cookie, sea salt chocolate chip, lemon cookie, double chocolate cloud, apple oatmeal. Wow, so many selections. And then they got a little front porch area out here too. Look at that. I just found out they sell a sampler like pack, a cookie in a cup where you get to try all of the cookies. Just little tiny bite size. I almost just ordered like, I almost just ordered like seven cookies and I realized that you can get them all in one shot. Like, I'm the guy like who like sits there and analyzes like every single decision where I'm like, oh, I should have got this. Or like, I'm the one that like goes home later on in the night and I wake up and I'm like, man, I should have got that oatmeal raisin cookie. Now I got it all at one. Like that is a true, like, wow. <laughs> they are definitely underbaked. Oh, I just got the apple one and it was amazing. 
Oh, what does that one look like? It was like literal. It was like ap apple oatmeal. It looked like an oatmeal cookie. Now I'm trying the lemon one. It's not all the cookies. What are the cookies that aren't in there? You said. So they don't have the peanut butter, and they don't have the chocolate walnut for people with like nut allergies because all the cookies are like touching. Oh. So no, no cookies that have nuts in it are in the cookie. Cup. Well, that's very nice, but I really want some nuts. I wanted the peanut butter. I wanted the walnut and the peanut butter one. Yeah. I've been cookied. <laughs> You've been meatballed. Well, I guess that will give me a reason to come back. I mean, the cookies are good. They don't stand out to me like Gideon's does. Uh, but, like, if you get to try all the cookies at once, then, you know what I mean? Unless there's one that's solid that I haven't tried yet, I haven't seen one that speaks out to me. Maybe I gotta try the walnut one. Oh, no, I need to get that snickerdoodle one. I mean, I'm not knocking the cookies, but... I mean, Gideon's cookies are pretty good, but the Rice Krispie Treat, on the other hand, I think the Rice Krispie Treat is better than the cookies. And Promise got an Oreo one. Yeah, if, it, if the Rice Krispies couldn't get any better, just throw some Oreos on it, and then it's like fantastic. I know, it's good. I really love the Rice Krispie Treat. Maybe I'll just stick to the Gideon's for the cookie business for now, but you never know. I don't know if they have a plan on maybe rotating the cookies out. I do got to get back and try the walnut cookie. Like I said, I don't think I got all the cookies in the cup there. I didn't get all the cookies in the cup. Enough of the cookie business. I think we're going to move along and just look at some of the Christmas decorations. Maybe go catch some of the snow. I don't know, do some shopping. Enjoy Disney Springs. I definitely want to stop at uh, Sprinkles to get cupcakes for Gracie because she ran out. But I don't know if I could do any uh, Christmas shopping around here. I was thinking of like things I needed to get. And I don't think there's anything here at Disney Springs I need to get. I love the holiday season at Disney Springs. Wow, live music? Do do do. This is what we need. Ba, 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 ba. Feliz Navidad. There he goes. Every 30 minutes, there's usually a little celebration that they do here, and then there's snope. So we're gonna wait here because I just wanna, I wanna have a little snope, fake snope, and then who knows? Honestly, I never thought I'd be actually vlogging maybe real snow, but I'm going up to the mountains. Going up to good old Pennsylvania, back up to the Poconos. And now, as the town center bell chimes, gather with your loved ones and look to the sky. For there is nothing quite as magical as spending the holidays together. Christmas, why can't I find you? Oh, there it all. Oh, what? Wow. Calling, calling back. It's a song. The most magical place on earth. Answer the call. Wow, with the snow! This is not what I thought they would be playing for the Christmas That's music. What I said, blast from the past. What is this? Wow, this I don't I <laughs> It's snowbin. Promise is happy. It's so weird. It is beautiful though. Look at that. Wow, what a shot! Answer the call! Thank you. I think I'm gonna actually use the Cupcake ATM. That, one, that way I can skip the line on the inside. I love sprinkles. Yes I do, yes I do. I'll take two, 
and check out. Oh, look, there's a camera. It's going to grab my uh, pup cakes for Gracie. It's got one of those robotic arms in there somewhere. Oh. <laughs> it's got a special song, too. What is it? Yeah. Your purchase is ready. Enjoy. There they are. Where's my song? I got Gracie her pup cakes. Looking pretty good. Now we're gonna, I don't know. Maybe try to find a place to just sit back and relax. Look at that. Look, it's probably a little blurry. I told you my camera is not too well anymore. I gotta super focus, but look at that. What a view. <laughs> we were trying to think of places to actually come sit down and hang out, and we came to the holiday bar. Line to get in is kind of wrapping around the building, so yeah, just sit here. So we're sitting up on the uh, on the curb here, just waiting for a spot. I think we're getting up. We've waited there for quite a long time. It's definitely the most popular spot to go hang out here at Disney Springs during the holiday season. Uh, so now I think we made our way back down and I don't know, maybe City Works? We're kind of just going with the flow. I am, I'm just going with the flow. Our group keeps on growing though. Yeah, look at this. Now we're going to City Works. I saw that. I love the vlog, man. I love the vlog. Thank you. You want to go to Aqua? I'm oh, I would love to go to Aqua. You would. Uh, uh, my favorite band. This looks like a cozy spot. This is really a nice spot. Come just hang out. Live music, they got heaters right here. And you can hear the music that is right here. And then also the live band that's inside there. The best of both worlds. This is kind of a chaotic day for, you know, making videos. Cause now we are getting cozy here. We are gathered by the fire, but Kristen put our name in back at Summer House. <laughs> So we're gonna go back to the restaurant we started at and maybe get dessert that I didn't get. And you wanna tell them that it's called Summer House in case you have to call Yeah, I might have called it Summer Beach House. It is Summer House on the lake. Summer, not Summer Beach House. Yo, is there a way we could sit outside, you think? I came back for the dessert. Is this the lemon, the cake? lemon cake? What? It's really funny because everybody um, has already eaten here, but there are two people have, who have not eaten here yet. And uh, I just ate here a couple of like hours ago, but now I want to try the dessert. So now we're having dessert and everyone's ordering their regular meals. So might as well dive in. Ooh. Oh, this is a huge lemon cake. Why am I doing this all with a knife? Is this the oatmeal scotchy? Yeah. Oh boy, I might like this a lot. This is one of the cookies that was not in the cookie cup, so maybe this is a redemption. I second guess the cookies at Summer House. Um, that is one of the best I've cookies I've ever had. Like, Holy moly. Was, like, I take back anything I said before. I don't know how this is going the way that it is, but yeah, well, I have to take back what I said about those cookies because they are phenomenal, especially the oatmeal ones. I think you just gotta get the, the, uh, the good ones that they don't include in the cookie in the cup. None of those good cookies they put in there. They only put the non-good cookies in the cookie in the cup. They got me. They got me good. It's absolutely so quiet down here behind uh, Summer House. Look at this. There's nobody down here. I love it. And you get to just come down, listen to the music. We're out back by House of Blues. This whole area looks nice. A cozy Disney Springs night. 
Now I am back home and I did a quick change in the outfit and I'm gonna go meet up with a friend at Disney's Coronado Springs. They're actually staying in there so we're gonna hang out around the resort. It's so beautiful there during the holiday season. Uh, but like since I'm doing like the, the 12 days of uh, uh, 12 days till Christmas vlogmas, uh, I figured I'd just bring you along with me. Uh, but I had to let Gracie out and give her a little cupcake first. Gracie wants a pop cup. What? Is that a pop cake? What? Did you catch that? Wow! <laughs> I love how they changed the colors of the up lighting on uh, the uh, Grand Destino Tower. Isn't that amazing? It's so beautiful. Wait till you see it on the inside. They changed the up lighting on the inside too. It's one of my favorite resorts to visit during the holidays. There it is. Isn't that a beautiful tree? I love it in here. This is definitely probably the nicest moderate resort on property. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's, it's definitely fancy enough to be a deluxe resort. We found a nice little cozy spot outside, got ourselves some coffee, and uh, we're just gonna sit down, relax, listen to the music, and kinda just take it all in. I never stayed here when I was young either. We only come here for like a certain fajita. So they had a fajita here at the quick service. And ah. My family would come here. We would sit at the Caribbean beach and we'd come over to Coronado and we'd get the fajitas. The That's fajitas from Coronado. I love walking around Coronado Springs, especially when you can go over to like where the pool is and look at this little bridge here. This is one of the most beautiful, like best looking resorts. It's so big, and then you got the Grand Casino Tower right there overlooking everything. The pool is closed right now, but I want to show you how amazing it is. And this is like one of the one times I can show you without there's a bunch of people like inside there. Look at this. The whole entire area. That's the pool right there, and they have like a little tiger slide, I think it is. And look at the pool. This resort is amazing. And then, oh yeah, right back there, Grand Casino Tower. Very fancy pool. And with that, we are done here today. Oh, I had so much fun hanging out at Coronado Springs. I know we weren't there long, but since I'm doing the 12 days uh, till Christmas vlogmas, I just figured I'd bring you guys along with me. You know, I tell you, I've never been a daily vlogger and this is something completely different. I always figured, I mean, in the beginning, I was just filming my days like in the parks and stuff like that. Uh, but I never documented like my day to day stuff. Uh, I'm more of like a top like video I, I I pick a topic and then I create a video about that topic uh, but the daily vlog it's a, it's a tough it's tough you know what I mean it's the it's the grind and editing and rolling rolling like now this video I have to sit down tonight edit it and have it ready for you guys tomorrow I kind of like it I'm not gonna I mean it's cool because it keeps you busy and if you're busy then uh, I feel like you just are like in that like tunnel mode when I'm busy I'm just like vroom. so uh, I'm excited to see what's to come I'm sure it's gonna be strange things that I do like not like Disney videos and stuff like that because you know what I mean uh, I'm trying to just document my day uh, but I'm gonna try to make it interesting like I don't want to show you guys sitting around the house like me watching Yellowstone because <laughs> I'm, I'm hooked on Yellowstone ever since I started wearing those flannels uh, and also the hats uh, I mean I'm very excited follow me on Instagram like I said we're gonna be uh, having some teasers coming out this week. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, and also there's a storm, there's a tropical storm coming. And uh, I don't know if uh, uh, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> It's a tropical storm in December. I, I, who would have seen that coming? We'll see how it goes tomorrow. If I can't get out to the parks, uh, maybe we'll do something at the house. And like I said, I can do a live stream or I can, oh, I have one video that I was holding on to just in case I wasn't able to actually do every single day. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. I've got to check on Gracie. It's also 12 days of Gracie. There she is, the most prettiest girl on earth. Gracie girl. What you got there? What's this? What, you gave up on the banana? She's been obsessed with this banana. You want this? 
Or I actually, maybe she doesn't want anything. Dad, stop throwing my toys in my bed. <laughs> I love how I just feel like I come in and bother my dog. Like, I'm like, Gracie, wake up. I want to play. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I guess I'll let you be. Good night. See you later.